All right, it looks like we're live. We'll wait a couple minutes. Um, but as you guys are coming in, make sure you guys comment. Hopefully you guys are doing well. And um, yeah, welcome. Amazing. Hopefully you're having a great, um, yeah, great Friday. Hopefully you're doing well. We're gonna go over here while we wait for everyone to come. Uh, we're here at the boardwalk right now, so we're just gonna kind of hang out. Um, there's been rumors of thunderstorms, so we'll see if we can still ride the skyline, or if not, we can always bus. Um, usually they have a bus that goes around, so yeah, should be good. I have the audio on here. There we go. But yeah, as you guys are coming in, uh, welcome. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to, um, yeah, welcome to the Skyliner. We're going to try and go see uh, the Spyglass Grill because it reopened yesterday. Um, we were going to go there yesterday, but then um, we, we weren't able to. So we're going to go there. We're going to go just around the Skyliner. And um, yeah, should be a nice night. Welcome, Jose. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're having a great, um, yeah, hopefully you're having a great day. Yeah, I, I, I dried up. I'm, I'm pretty dry now. now. Now it's hot. So, um, yeah, weather here is very unpredictable. Well, welcome, Jeff. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. Oh, I heard Jose. I, I need to, so Matt and I have talked about it. We really want to go back to the Orlando Informer. Um, it's probably not on the top of our priorities, but um, I really want to go back one of these days. But yeah, as you guys are coming in, we're here, we're at the boardwalk. Um, we're gonna be doing a little bit of Skyliner resort hopping. Um, just kind of a nice little relaxing, um, afternoon here. Uh, feel free if you guys have anything you guys want to see, let me know. And um, yeah, we're just gonna kind of take it easy. The only thing we really want to do here is get to Caribbean Beach, go to the Spyglass Grill. And yeah, from there we'll just see if there's any uh, things going on and should be nice. But yeah, as you guys are coming in, um, it'll be a huge help. Uh, every single like um, really pushes the stream out to YouTube, helps out a ton. And um, yeah, if you guys haven't that like button, that'll be a huge help. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Um, nonetheless, we'll get started in just a couple minutes. It's really humid today. Um, yesterday it was very hot and humid as well, and it didn't start raining until later. Tonight, it's, it's, I thought I heard thunderstorms, so we're going to try and avoid them. I brought an umbrella with me just in case, but I don't know. That's kind of the fun of it. You never know what's going to happen, so... But yeah, it looks like we're going to probably start kind of head back, um, head towards the Skyliner as everyone's starting to come in. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of take it easy, just walk around, see what's going on. And I'm excited, it'll be a fun day. <clears throat> yeah, weather's been weird. <laughs> um, if you guys, so we did a member stream last night, we did a little test, testing out some things. And we did fireworks from um, the apartment and it, it poured and the, the wind was like blowing at the right angle that was just pouring on me. And um, I don't know, it was kind of, it was kind of fun raving the weather out there, but um, I got soaked. But yeah, I like how the boardwalk here, I hope they don't change too much of this. I don't think they'll be changing much of the exterior um, for what I know, but yeah. 
I, I, I like the old classic feel of the boardwalk. It's, it's a deluxe resort, but still has like that fun feel to it, which I think is nice. Here, let me see. Yeah, let's just go up here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like the, um, the canyon on the back lot tour. Exactly. That's exactly how I remember it. Yeah. Good days. I miss those days. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Christina, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, welcome, Brunsburg, Kevin. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, we're gonna try and go on the Skyliners momentarily, but um, yeah, I survived last night, which was great. So that was fun. So the one thing, so we're gonna be very um, leaning on what we do today, but the one thing I do wanna get done, I wanna to go to Spyglass Grill and I want to, um, it's, it just reopened yesterday. So I wanna go try out their food. Um, I missed it yesterday, so we're gonna try and get it today. It's at Caribbean Beach. And then, um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, it's gonna be kind of whatever we run into. So that's kind of fun. Welcome. Welcome to the boardwalk. How are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great Friday. We're kind of heading, um, we're heading to the Skyliners now, but um, yeah, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing good. We're going to go see, so I think we're going to, I don't know, maybe we'll get off at Riviera. Riviera and get off there and kind of walk around a little bit. Um, and then also, I don't know, Riviera is very close to Caribbean, it's a walk. So maybe we'll get off at Riviera as we always do, walk over to Caribbean. I think that sounds good. Mama Goo will be coming in a little bit later. So if you guys are looking for her, um, she had a little, she was running a little bit late today. Oh, John Hep, welcome. How are you doing? Oh yeah, you were at Animal Kingdom. How was that? That was, that should have been nice. I'm sure it was busier, but Animal Kingdom's always nice. Hopefully you got to experience a little of the festival as well. But yeah, welcome everyone. Hopefully everyone's um, doing well. Hopefully everyone um, is having a great day. We're gonna try and head over to the Skyliners. Um, we're gonna go, first of all, we wanna make it to Caribbean Beach to try out the newly reopened Spyglass Grill. And then from there, we're just gonna kinda go around, see what we run into. And of course, if there's anything you guys wanna see, let me know and yeah, should be a nice day. But yeah, um, so technically, oh, my phone's going off. Technically, we're gonna try and get to, what are we at, 119, as far as light counts? I think 119, uh, we're gonna see what's going on. Uh, maybe we'll just go, I don't know, we'll see. I, I, I know we, we like to get to 150, but we'll see what's going on. Roxanne, welcome. 
So I haven't seen it much today. I, I just came here, by the way, so I, I don't, I haven't been in the parks very much. I think I heard it was at Disney Springs. I was in the stores here at the um, boardwalk. They didn't have anything, but um, I'll keep my eye out for it. But yeah, hopefully you're doing well. Oh, that's great, John. I haven't seen them in a while. Hopefully we run into them one of these days. Yeah, 150 is always, it's kind of trademarked by Mama Goon Bizin. <laughs> you never know though. Yeah, Matt's working tonight, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, he's gonna be, we're gonna be doing a lot of things. Monday is when character interactions come back. He'll be off for that. We're gonna try and go there's no word as far as like like the restaurants that are gonna have um, character meals are gonna be back, so we're gonna check on that. Um, no word on that, and then we're also going to go. Um, yeah, we're gonna be at Animal Kingdom for the Earth Day. Oh, okay. I think I saw them there earlier. I'm not a huge like uh, lounge fly expert. But we'll keep an eye out for it. But yeah, it's a very hot and humid day here. It'll probably start raining. Um, I, I'm ready. I brought like a raincoat or at least like a windbreaker type thing. So we're going to try and avoid the rain. We're just going to see what goes on and it should be nice. It's going to be fun. So um, we're going to, I actually went to the outlet store. If you guys saw that video, we went and I found some autograph books. So we're going to go try and get some autographs. I miss those days. Those were always fun. Um, I always used to go as a kid and try and get all the autographs. So we're going to do some fun things. I'm excited for all that. But it looks like we are getting 37 likes, which is great. So yeah, our, our official goal is 119 tonight. But yeah, it'd be great to get to 50 uh, to start off. So only 13 away. Jolie, welcome. Oh, Bryce, welcome. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully you guys, um, yeah. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Oh, that's always a good choice, John. The Germany Beer Garden restaurant is probably one of the most consistent restaurants at Epcot. Probably the most recommendable. Hey, Ape and Lemire, welcome. How's your day going? Welcome to the stream. We're gonna try and um, kind of take it easy. We're gonna go in the Skyliners. It's probably gonna pour on us, but I'm prepared. Hopefully you're doing well. Tanya T, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well, welcome to the stream. How's your day going? This'll be fun. Um, Spyglass Grill, which is one of the quick services over at Caribbean Beach, is uh, reopened yesterday. We missed it, so we're gonna kind of cover it today. And yeah, I'm excited. Here, let's see where are we going. Hopefully we'll be fine. I, I feel like whenever I think it's only gonna rain a little bit and it's pouring, so I don't know. Weather here is kind of unpredictable, but Hopefully it's kind of low. 
Oh, we, we do need to go to, I think, yeah, Big Mo was in here a little bit earlier, I think, um, right when the stream was starting. But, um. Yeah, we need to get back one of these days. Oh, that's great. Well, feel free, if you ever see us, feel free to say hi, but um, also, if you don't want to, that's fine as well, but we love meeting you guys, so that's always fun. Yeah, we need to get to Universal. I think Bigel um, said he was at the Boston Lobster Feast. I've never been to that, but I've heard good things. I think there's two lines here. Oh, Izzy, welcome. How are you doing? So our role on the Skyliner, if we're placed with other parties, I will not talk during the ride, so. Oh, Jungle Juice, welcome. How are you doing? Just one. But yeah, this will be fun. Um, but yeah, w one of the things I feel like if I'm in a Skyliner with another party, I feel like I can't really talk. So if we're on the Skyliner with another party, I probably won't be saying much. So that's why I won't be saying much. But yeah, enjoy the ride. I'll try and show all the sights and everything along the way. And yeah, most likely we will be put with another party. <laughs> Welcome, John Rowe. How are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Hopefully you're doing well. A good sign. Oh, thanks. Yep, live on YouTube. Yep. Yeah. Do you make an income from that? Um, a little bit. Yeah, just something a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, great. I think I am stopped boarding. 
so we're gonna see what's going on here. I wonder if you're welcome. Hopefully you're doing good. Yeah, it looks like the storm has stopped us, unfortunately. I'm just trying to find how we can exit. the easiest way to exit? Back to where? Um, just back down there, outside of the Skyliner station. Um, so you'll have to go, I don't have another one. We'll okay, go okay, sounds good. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry. Nice life, man. Uh, thanks. Sorry. It looks like our uh, Skyliner plans have been, um, yeah, it looks like we're not gonna be riding the Skyliner here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. 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 Excuse me. All right, looks like we're good. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, um, our Skyliner travels have been uh, delayed, um, which which we kind of I kind of knew probably would happen at some point. But it's going to be storming. I have an umbrella here. But, um, yeah, I think we're going to try and go. We're not going to go by foot. Um, but we're going to try. I think my plan is we're going to walk over towards Hollywood Studios and get a bus to Caribbean Beach. And then we'll go over there, kind of hang out, go to Spy, like, Spyglass Grill. And then from there, uh, whenever things start to calm down, down, if they do, we'll get on Skyliner there. So this is kind of your Skyliner on the ground tour. So this will be fun. But yeah, just because of the storms in the area, um, the Skyliner is currently not running. So yeah, there you go. It happened. But we're gonna keep going. We're gonna try and get to Caribbean Beach at least and um, kind of have our Skyliner tour uh, on the ground here. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Oh, did we did get to 55 likes too. So a uh, huge thank you. Our official goal tonight's 119. But yeah, if you guys hit that like button, that'll be a huge help. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. It looks like we're currently, let me get an update here. We're currently six subscribers away from um, 1,800 subscribers, which is great. Um, we're getting really close to 2,000 and it, um, it really means a lot. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. One fifty for Mama Goo, Mama Goo wants one fifty. Caribbean Beach is great. So many people like forget about the moderate resorts, but um, honestly, they're some of the better ones. Yeah, Mama Goo and Vizen are always trying to get to the 150. We'll see, it's possible. Sounds good, Jeff. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see you around and um, yeah. But yeah, um, anyways, we showed you where the Skyliner was and where you would go to get on it if you're coming from Boardwalk. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's a storm coming, which isn't good. We're gonna try and avoid it. We'll try and stay undercover and 
Yeah, we'll see what's going on. Maybe, um, I know sometimes they have a bus going from the resorts, so maybe we'll check that, I don't know. Maybe we'll just walk. Oh no, that's not a good sign, John. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of a fun challenge for me to survive the rain. Um, but yeah, if, if you're ever planning on doing a Skylander tour and it does thunderstorm, this is a good thing to know. So I wanna help you guys out. This is kind of a, a plan, it's not planned, but it's kind of a fun little challenge, a twist on the thing. So it'll be fun. I heard the cast member saying something out of bus, but it looked like she was pointing towards Epcot. I think she wanted um, them to go in Epcot and go out. Maybe I, maybe I misunderstood, but I don't have a park pass today, so. But yeah, it's a rainy um, resort hopping for us today. But yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see along the way, I think we're going to start to walk, try and walk over to Hollywood Studios and get on one of the buses there. So yeah, I mean, it should be a nice walk through the rain. Hopefully we'll survive. Yeah, goo versus rain, two nights in a row. It'll be fun though. Mama Vera Vaughn, welcome. Oh yeah, hopefully you're doing well too. Hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully the cleaning goes well, but thank you so much for stopping by. Um, yeah, hopefully you're doing well though. Oh, Diane, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well as well. Welcome to the boardwalk. Um, if anyone is coming in and wondering what's going on, we were gonna do Skyliners, but the Skyliner just turned off because of the storm coming, so. We're gonna go on foot um, over to Hollywood Studios and we're gonna try and get on a bus, um, assuming the rain doesn't stop us. But yeah, we're, we're just gonna be creative here, see what we can do and also provide options for you guys if you guys are ever doing like a Skyliner uh, resort hopping and it starts to storm. Most of the time, I think with rain, it still goes. I think thunderstorms only big problem. Oh, no, well, welcome. Glad to see you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. We're gonna try and get to some resorts here. Spyglass Grill, which is one of the quick services at Caribbean Beach reopened yesterday. And um, I wasn't able to make it out, so we're gonna make it out today. Yeah, we do have some very menacing storm clouds around us, so. We could visit. The thing is for me, I wonder, so they're probably running the Babcock boats probably right now, or um, Epcot buses, because whenever there's a storm, the boats don't go either. So um, they'd have to provide transportation. Yeah, maybe we should um, go check on the buses. Well, that sounds, that, that sounds fun, Mama Beer. Hopefully the cleaning goes well and yeah. 
So there is an alternate tra transportation if you're staying at like a hotel. The thing is with um, Boardwalk, it's technically, and this is this is what they, this is technically their rule. It's not a Skyliner resort from what I know. So I don't think there's gonna be buses. We'll see what's going on though. But um, if you're staying at Pop Century, um, they have like a, I believe they have a Skyliner bus that goes I don't think they would have it here. We're gonna check. I do have an umbrella with me, but it's a very flimsy one. I have like a um, windbreaker jacket I could put on too, but there you go. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's true. Here, let's go check on the bus. Yeah. It was weird. So last night um, we had a member, we were doing a member exclusive test stream um, from the apartment doing some fireworks. And just out of nowhere in the middle of the show, it just came down like I'd never seen it before. And um, I was on the exact angle that the wind was just blowing it all on me. It was like, a, um, it, was, it was crazy, but yeah, I, I've been, fighting the rain two days in a row. Diana, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Happy Easter, how are you doing? Yeah, the wind's picking up. I don't think you can hear it with the microphone. Oh, maybe some other people have the same idea. Oh, welcome, Mr. Master. How are you doing? We're, we're trying to avoid the, the storms while also show a um, Skyliner route outside of the sky. So we'll see what's going on. Hello. Oh, and Chris. Hello. How are you doing? As you can see, storms are coming here. We're just gonna stroll around here. We'll go, we'll come back. Uh, we'll stay in this area. We'll go walk over to the convention area. And um, whenever we see a bus come, we'll come back for it. But as of now, there's just a bunch of people waiting there. So we want to go do some, some more exciting things. Yeah. Honestly, it would be fun if they had like, if you could walk to more resorts, that would be fun. Yeah, so weather, yeah. There's lots of areas where uh, maybe maybe it's just everywhere, and I I don't I'm just living in the the confusion of the weather um, apps and services, but um, everywhere I live, Ohio and Florida both have very unpredictable weather, and it says one thing, and then it turns out being the complete other. So I don't know. We're at Boardwalk right now. Oh, there's some bus coming. Okay, that's Disney Springs. Disney Springs won't be bad, but I feel like everyone's gonna be going to Disney Springs right now. Let's go take a look at it. But if you guys are watching, uh, it'd be a huge help if you guys hit that like button. We're currently at 65 likes, and yeah, it'd be great to get to 75. Eventually 100 and 119 is our goal tonight. So thank you guys so much. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I believe we're only, yeah, I, five subscribers away from 1,800. So yeah, that'd be great. And if you have any friends, family, anyone you know who may be interested in the channel, um, if you guys could share it with them and uh, maybe we could get reached that goal soon, that'd be great. Yeah, we're 150. Yeah, everyone's going to, um, 
Yeah. Everyone was waiting here for... The thing is, Disney Springs is... You don't need a ticket and you don't need a reservation. So a lot of people, when you're waiting for buses, the big line is usually, usually for Disney Springs. Oh, that's weird, Mr. Master. A lot of the ways to stream are always kind of weird. Some of these apps are hard to deal with. But yeah, it's been weird, it's been humid, it's been hot, and uh, storm last night, it's storming again today, so we're just trying to somehow get, I think our number one location here, we're trying to get to um, Caribbean Beach right now um, to get to Spyglass Grill for the reopening. They reopened yesterday, we missed it, and yeah, I think that's where we're kind of trying to get to right now. Then hopefully <laughs> when we get there, storms might calm down a little bit. I don't think it's supposed to storm too long, and maybe then we can kind of avoid potential um, Skyline air delays. And if we don't make it to Spyglass Grill, I mean, if you guys would rather, we can always do just the Epcot stream today, Epcot Resort area. Um, if you guys would rather that, we can always just go around to Yacht Beach Club. We can try some more Easter snacks. Um, yeah, we can always cover Spyglass another day this week. It might be kind of hard to get over there at this point. We could we could hang out around here until storms stop, and maybe we could get on the Skyliner then. We're, we're really open to anything, so if you guys would like to see anything, please let me know, and yeah. There's some other bus coming here. But this is the convention center, by the way. If you're ever trying to get to the uh, Boardwalk Conve Convention Center, this is where you'd come. Here, let's see what's coming. It just says boardwalk. Okay, that's Magic Kingdom. So the Boardwalk Bakery is currently still open. So if you still want to experience it, you can. Still, Bellevue Lounge is still open as well. Um, the only thing that is still closed is ESPN, but that's been closed for a while. That's true. So I guess the question is, would you guys rather stay around this area or would you guys rather go somewhere else and try and get by a bus? Yeah, it's, the weather gets weird. We're just trying to get around. Let me double check. I want to see if does it, did the board. There's not many people over here, so I'm gonna check to see if the board has an option for Hollywood Studios. Because the thing is, if I took the bus to Magic Kingdom, uh, they'd drop you off right there at the bus loop, and it'd be kind of Caribbean Beach is far away from Magic Kingdom, so we'll see. Yeah, this is always fun. Sometimes our streams don't go always according to plan, but. That's always the fun. Okay, it says use Skyliner. Oh, Ernie, welcome. How are you doing?
Let me see. I don't have a park pass for today. Welcome, Ernie. We're trying to, um, so we have the Skyliner and we went on, we were about to get on it and then they closed for storms. And it's gonna be storming here pretty, I don't know, some of it's a little, I don't know, you never know. There's a bad cloud over here, so, um, I don't know, it doesn't look as bad as it looked. I said it's gonna rain till seven. <laughs> Um, I don't know. We'll see. We're going to kind of stay around here a little bit. We'll wait for the next bus. And if it's not Hollywood Studios or Epcot, we'll just kind of walk around the area and we'll go from there. We can always just kind of go around. We can try and get some snacks. Um, there's some more Easter snacks at Young Beach Club we can always check out. And yeah, we can kind of just make this a Epcot Resort area. And if the Skyliner works later, we can go to Spyglass as a finale. It is windy though. Okay. Well, welcome, Crazy Lazy. Hopefully, you're doing well. I, I I like that idea. I was hoping that the buses were going to um, Epcot or Hollywood Studios so I could transfer there. I'm tempted right now just to walk to Hollywood Studios really quick. That might be just the easiest right now. And we can do the indoor route. I can show you guys the indoor route. I have the umbrella, so if it gets really bad, it looks like we're fine for now. And it looks like the storm clouds are still in the area, so I think we're going to kind of... Um, you can actually walk indoors for a good portion of everything, so we're going to try and do that. And, um, yeah, I like the idea. Oh, I like that idea too going on. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna save that for another video where we just go on whatever bus comes. So I think the plan is now we're gonna be heading um, over to Hollywood Studios, but I'm gonna show like the, 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 the way you can get there without being out in the open for the full walkway. So there's a couple, it's a couple tricks. This is kind of funny. You never know what's going to happen. So we're just going to go with it, see what's going on. But let me know if we have any lag or the, if the screen gets grainy at all, let me know. I can always do a quick refresh. And even in bad connections, uh, sometimes it helps a lot. So, yeah. Yeah, the park reservation system. It's kind of hard these days. All right, I'm gonna show my little secret. Um, if you are going to um, Hollywood Studios, you can come over here. It's a little, not many people know this, but you're gonna turn left up here. There's a staircase somewhere. Here, we're gonna go downstairs actually. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna be here. Oh, oh sorry. Thank you. But yeah, so you're gonna take this left here, and um, this will lead towards the end of the wing of the DVC rooms. 
which actually is covered and kind of along the walkway of the Hollywood Studios walkway. So if you're ever trying to walk here and if you're ever staying in the DVC side, you can always walk to the very end. There's a door over there. It's kind of fun. Welcome, Steph. How are you doing? We're kind of, so the Skyliner is closed now due to rain and thunderstorms. So we're just kind of trying to make our way around here. We're hoping to make it to Caribbean Beach at some point and yeah, we're just gonna kind of go around and see what we're gonna do. So this one, yeah, these are gonna lead towards these buildings. So we're gonna keep going this way. Yeah, Boardwalk has some long hallways for sure. <laughs> I least still like the carpet. The carpet, they're probably gonna get rid of this with the refurbishment, but I like the carpet. But yeah, if you guys are joining us here, we're currently trying to make our way to Hollywood Studios. Um, the Skyliner has officially closed down due to his thunderstorms, so we're just trying to get over there. We're gonna try and get on a bus to one of the Skyliner resorts and All right, we're looks like we're back. Um, yeah, sometimes we get a little bit of lag here and there. So thank you guys for bearing with us. I think we're good though. So I haven't done this in a while, so it's gonna be a little bit risky here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, here we go. This leads right here. It was kind of hard to show with the lag, um, but this walkway, we're like 90% there to Hollywood Studios. Yeah, I hear the thunderstorms. But um, if we walk fast, I think we'll make it, we'll kind of beat the storms and we'll go from there. But if you ever are staying in one of the DVC rooms and you're far down the hallway, you can always come out that door there and that leaves um, very close to Hollywood Studios here. So that's great. Well, welcome, Jeff. How are you doing? Yeah, you can't always hide over here. The thing is, if it starts to rain, we can go under there, kind of get ready with our umbrellas, and we'll go from there. But yeah, if you guys are coming in, it looks like we're currently at 74 likes, uh, very close to 75, and getting very close to our goal of 119, and of course, Mama Goo and Bizen's goal of 150. So yeah, be huge help if you guys hit that like button if you're new. Make sure you subscribe. I think we're about five subscribers away from 1,800 subscribers, which is great. So, yeah. It looks like we're walking right into the storm though. So we'll be ready. I see some, a little bit of rain, but nonetheless at this point, we're about like five minutes um, from the bus stop. So even if we're just in the rain for five minutes, that's not bad.
Yeah. I think we'll make it. I think we'll be fine. But yeah, we're trying to make it over to Spyglass Grill over at um, Caribbean Beach Resort, um, but it's raining. So we're gonna try and somehow make there without being on a Skyliner. And yeah, hopefully we'll get on a Skyliner at some point tonight. We're gonna try and get as much as we can done tonight, but it is gonna be th st thunderstorming. So we'll go from there. So er, temperature is 77 right now. It's very humid. Here we go. But yeah, if you're if you're walking and it starts pouring, this is a good place to hide out for a little bit. But yeah, at this point we're almost there. And even then, like it doesn't we're about like two minutes of a walk. So I think we're just gonna keep going and hopefully we won't get poured on. If we do, it will most likely be um very minimal. So I think we'll be fine. So the Skyliner, so basically when it's when there's thunderstorms in the area and they can tell a thunderstorm is gonna be coming, um, they stop loading the Skyliner and just do a loop around getting everyone out and then just stop it. So right now the Skyliner is just sitting there. That doesn't sound good. So I think rain, I think it does go in rain as long as it's not thunderstorming. Yeah, this is kind of the thrill of Disney World. And it seems like a lot of people, like if you're coming here, um, there's a good chance if you're coming just for a short amount of time that your days will get um, a lot of rain. So it's good that it started raining today. I really didn't look at the weather, I should have, but it's good that we have this. I think it's kind of a good um, challenge and a good thing to kind of give some advice, see some alternate ways to kind of resort hop without a Skyliner and um, kind of see how long it'll take for the Skyliner to be back and running. So I'm not 100% sure how long we're gonna be going. Um, we'll just kind of go and we'll see how it's going. It probably won't be the longest stream we'll ever do, but um, we'll just go and see how long we go. And if it starts pouring and there's nothing else to do, uh, we might end it there, but we'll see what's going on. Yeah, it's not good. We're probably gonna go for about two to three hours, that's my guess. We've been going for about an hour already, so. We're not gonna be going to any parks tonight, but we're gonna be trying to um, kind of show the Skyliner 
without the Skyliner when it's not working. So. But yeah, we have made it. So um, thunderstorms were in the area when we left. It's kind of sprinkling very lately now. And um, yeah, we made it to the bus stop here at Hollywood Studios. see where we're going but if you guys are joining coming in we're trying to get over to Caribbean Beach um, the Skyliner has officially stopped going because of the thunderstorms in the area so we walked over we were at Epcot we walked over to Hollywood Studios and we're going to try and get on a bus here uh, to Caribbean Beach so we'll see oh I wish we had news on Fantasmic I miss it As of now, no news on that, but um, yeah, I'm sure they said sometimes this year, so hopefully soon we'll get some sort of, um, at least like an idea of what's gonna happen. Bagel. How was how was the Boston Lobster Feast? I've always thought about going. Matt and I have seriously considered going one time. I'm glad you enjoyed Universal too. It looks like you kind of avoided um, most most of the storms here today. Oh, wow. I heard like for the opening of Guardians of the Galaxy, I know the date was full, but um, that is like gonna be a busy weekend too. So I, I imagine it's gonna be like almost impossible. Uh, we have a park pass for the first day when it opens, um, but that's crazy. Let's see, where are we going? Okay, we're 25. Oh wow, we need to go Biggle. I'm gonna have to get Matt to go. Oh, there's a, there's a resort Skyliner bus. Okay, it looks pretty full though. Okay, we're gonna try and get on this. We do have a Rivera bus there, so I don't know if like, 
Thank you. Oh, sounds good. Thank you. Sorry. Time for some dad jokes. Some Star Wars dad jokes. Oh, no. I like to keep my Star Wars jokes in my database. <laughs> and the definition of a dad joke is one that isn't necessarily funny, but later on it does become apparent. <laughs> Station. Uh, 
Shell Station. Shell Station. Hey, remember that man that was such a hurry to get in front of me? Look, he's still right in front of me. He didn't get anything badly. Did you hear that Snow White might be nominated for Supreme Court Justice? Yep, they heard that she's always been the fairest of them all. Then there was a guy that invented the Ferris wheel, always wanted to meet the man who invented the merry-go-round, but they could never meet up because they always traveled in different circles. Okay, Star Wars joke number two. Does anybody know how Darth Vader liked to have his toast prepared? A little on the dark side. What social, what social media platform will you never find Captain Hook? TikTok. like to listen to on the Death Star? Dark Side of the Moon. You could have said Back in Black, I would have out. And my last Star Wars joke that I made up all by myself at 3.30 in the morning after a couple of adult beverages binging Star Wars Clone Wars? How do I know that nobody in the Star Wars universe ever used an Apple product? Because they all prefer to use their androids. Oh. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> this is going to be the Riviera. To the gentleman with the Youngstown shirt on, is this your stop or are you going to Caribbean Beach? No, Riviera. <laughs> If you have to step off the bus and let other people get off, I will wait till you get back on, I promise. Thank you. There we go. That was fun. It's always fun when you get a fun bus driver. But yeah, if you guys are joining or came in during the bus ride, uh, the Skyliner is currently down due to thunderstorms. Um, so we had to take the, the bus. They have like a Skyliner bus that's going. And we had to take this one over here. So we're just trying to kind of get around here. Um, we're eventually trying to make it to Spyglass Grill, which is one of the restaurants at Caribbean Beach. It just reopened. So yeah, we got off here at the Riviera. We're going to kind of walk around here a little bit and head straight over there. But yeah, it looks like we're also at 79 likes too. So if you guys haven't the like button, that'll be a huge help. It'd be great to get to 80 and eventually 119, maybe 150. We'll see. But um, 119 is the big goal for tonight. If anything, 100 would be great as well. But um, yeah. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. We're only five subscribers away from 1,800 subscribers, which is great. So thank you guys so much. And yeah, let me know if there's anything you guys want to see here tonight too. So I think, so Sebastian's has the um, quick service right by that one. And I think Spyglass Grill is kind of, because it's a big resort, Spyglass Grill is actually located like right into, right in the middle of one of the neighborhoods. So I like that we stayed there uh, when we first got our 100 subscribers. And when we went there, it was kind of fun because uh, we were staying in that neighborhood, but Spyglass Grill was closed. so. I'm excited to see it again today.
But yeah, here we are. This is the Riviera Resort. Um, yeah. Trying to find Spyglass really quick. Um, I want to kind of find some directions here. We'll go in the store here. We'll look around a little bit and um, we'll see what we're running into. But for sure, if there's anything you guys want to see here tonight, let me know. And yeah. Oh, they have some of the coach collection here too. If you're looking for these, you have all the collection here as well. Um, looks like they are making Easter baskets here as well. I think a lot of these resorts are doing this. They pretty much have baskets there. You can pay for them. Um, I believe it's $7 and they um, make your basket. So if you find anything in the store you want to um, purchase um, and make a little basket out of, you can. You have plenty of nice Rivera merchandise here as well. Let me see. Do we any restaurants at hotels? So we'll show more when we go by Sebastian's, but um, one of the pool bars over there is actually like a, um, they have a nice uh, sit down menu as well. So we'll kind of show that as well. So we're here at the uh, Riviera Resort. Yeah, I like how they do the Easter baskets here. Um, you just pretty much purchase whatever you want and then you, um, pay seven dollars more and they just basket it all up so i think that's a cool idea i think they do that at um, boardwalk as well as pop century so that's cool I think we're gonna head straight over there uh, just because I wanna stay away from some um, potential rainstorms or thunderstorms we may run into. So yeah, I think that's probably where we're gonna go. We're gonna go from there. We're gonna go to Spyglass Grill, uh, see what's going on over there. And of course we can always come back here um, as a finale. So yeah. downstairs here. All right, we're back, sorry. But yeah, Jessica, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. And um, yeah, Alyssa, oh, sorry, thank you. Alyssa, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys are having a great day. We're just gonna be going around um, the Caribbean Beach Resort. We're trying to make the Spyglass Grill, uh, see what they have there. And yeah. Sounds good, John. Well, hopefully you have a great day. Hopefully you have a great weekend. And um, we will see you around soon. I don't have any official plans for the weekend. Uh, there might be a couple things, we'll see. But um, we'll try and get some videos out. If we don't have any streams, I'll have some videos. And yeah, we're gonna try and do some fun things. So that'll be fun. Well, we are currently at 89 likes. So huge thank you. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I really appreciate it and yeah. Be great to get to 100 tonight. Yeah, it's been kind of chaotic. Um, the Skyliner is officially down because of um, because of the storm. So we're kind of doing everything on foot. We're gonna try and do like a Skyliner on the ground, and um, yeah, it's been a fun little experience here today. So that's been fun. We'll see, maybe we'll do something on Easter. Um, we'll see.
my um, sister-in-law were talking about doing some things. So we'll see how things are going. Oh, Winifred, welcome. Welcome to um, the walkway in between Caribbean Beach and Riviera Resort. Hopefully you're doing well. We're just trying to make it over here. Um, we're gonna try and get to Spyglass Grill, which just reopened the other day. And um, yeah, it's a nice day, it's hot, it's gonna rain. So you never know what's gonna happen here. Yeah, Caribbean Beach is a nice one. It, it's a big one. We'll kind of try and show as much as we can here. Um, but it's a very big resort. It's very, um, it's similar to Port Orleans Riverside, but it's a circular design. So meaning there's like a water in the middle and then just kind of a circle. So very similar to um, Port Orleans Riverside. Yeah, it is. the weather does look a lot better right now. I don't know, maybe we kind of, <laughs> somehow avoided it. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try and make it. So a little kind of map here. There's Riviera where we're coming from. We're heading to Spyglass Grill, which is down here. So we're gonna try and go all the way around here to Spyglass Grill. And um, as you can see, there's multiple neighborhoods here, um, multiple different things. So yeah, we're there where that little pineapple is. We're gonna loop around, see if we can get there. And yeah, we'll try and get a little tour of the resort too because I feel like we never really walk around the neighborhoods here. So that's nice. Oh, no problem, Izzy. Feel free if there's anything, any questions you have. Um, yeah. I've stayed, so Mama Goo, we stayed with Mama Goo for a birthday a couple of years back at Riviera. But, um, and then for a 100 subscriber special, we stayed in one of the pirate rooms here. Um, that was a fun video. But for the most part, like, we haven't stayed here in a lot. So one of these days, I want to stay here and just show, like, a full, like, tour of this huge resort. So. Oh, welcome, Ralph. Hopefully you're doing well. Thank you so much. We're gonna try and kind of get um, to Spyglass Grill. They do a mobile ordering, so that's nice. Well, actually, I think, I, yeah, we did stay at Caribbean one time. That was like five years ago. Um, we stayed in one of these rooms over here. It was when they um, remodeled the lobby of Caribbean um, before Rivera. Oh, we're at 93. 150 would be great. I don't know if we're gonna make it there tonight, but um, yeah. We're gonna see what we can run into. We're gonna try and find, um, there might be some Easter exclusive food items here we're gonna try and find. But um, for the most part, we're just gonna kind of take it easy, enjoy the resort. And for sure, if there's any questions, if there's anything you guys wanna see, please let me know. Um, I wanna be helpful here, so yeah. Oh, it looks like we do have an update too. Um, meanwhile, we did also reach our goal of 
um, 1,800 subscribers. We're at 1,801 right now. So um, I don't know where that came from. I just updated right now. So I just want to give you guys a huge thank you. Here, we'll go over here. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much. We're getting really close to 2,000 and it really means a lot to Matt and I. So yeah, it's, it's been fun. Matt and I have had a lot of fun doing the uh, streams, videos, and uh, it really means a lot. So yeah, thank you so much. Any new members, I want to be the first to welcome you to the Goo Crew. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much. It really means a lot. And um, yeah, it would be great to get to uh, 2,000 soon. So yeah, thank you guys so much. And yeah, welcome. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. That was crazy. Um, thank you guys so much. It just kind of came out of nowhere. I was just kind of uh, doing a quick refresh really quick and that's great. Yep, it's just me today, Matt's working. When we get to 2000, we're gonna have, um, it's gonna be, we're gonna have a lot of celebrations. I can't believe we're getting that far. Thank you guys so much. Um, as I always say, it wouldn't be goo to you without you. And I really mean that because first of all, goo to you without you would be just goo to. And, and that's silly, that doesn't make any sense. Um, but second of all, uh, we just love doing this and you guys really make this so enjoyable. So um, honestly, I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, this has been so great. So thank you guys so much. Yeah. It's the goo band. But um, thank you guys so much. It really means a lot. And yeah, it's just so incredible that I can um, bring the goo to each and every one of you. And I really value it. So that area's blocked off. Sorry. Yeah, I have two bands. I have Goo 2 and the Dapper Goose. As you guys know, I sing. Skyliner is still ongoing. It looks like somehow we passed through the storm. Um, I don't know, the storm has been kind of weird. It's been like, it's been coming and going all day, honestly. So I don't know. Skyliners aren't going though. So that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, if we get to 2000, assuming Mama Goo would be okay with it, I'm sure she would. Um, we will do a Mama Goo stream and she'll go shopping for like the full stream. We'll take her to like World of Disney and she can just go around Disney Springs shopping, going in like every single store. She would like that. I think I can speak for her saying she would do that. Goo year, yeah. Um, I always said it'd be fun to get a purple car and put the Goo logo on it and call it the Goo Mobile. Oh, welcome, pal. Oh, welcome. Oh, that's that's coming soon. That's a week now. That's great. Hopefully, you're doing well, though. You're staying at Riviera, right? Which we were just at a second ago. We're walking around. Um, Caribbean Beach right now, which is actually right next to Riviera Resort. Jenny, welcome.
hopefully you're doing well. Um, it looks nice right now, but it's gonna be, gonna storm probably, or maybe we passed it. I don't know. But um, yeah, we're we're trying to we've been trying to avoid the storms all day, and so far we're good. We haven't really gotten much rain. All sounds good. We're gonna try and go back to Riviera tonight at some point. Oh, do we get to 101? My, um, so when I lose the chat on the one phone, I also lose a light count. So I just, yeah, it looks like we got to 102, 102 likes. So, um, that's great. Thank you guys so much. It'd be great to get to 119, maybe 150. 150 might be, we'll see. Maybe we'll get to 150, we'll see. Oh, wow. That sounds great, Diane. A little bit of Universal, Epcot. That sounds nice. You'll get a little bit of the Flower and Garden Festival as well. Hopefully we run to you, that would be fun. All right, so I think this is, what is this right now? We're, um, so up ahead, I think, is Trinidad, and I think that's where Spyglass Grill is. Um, if you look at this bridge here, there's a walkway, and right past that bridge is where you'll find the Skyliner station um, for the Caribbean beach. Uh, Riviera has its own Skyliner station, and they both go to each other, so there you go. Yeah, it's 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 warm. It it looks like it, it keeps saying it's gonna storm and it's not, so I don't know, but it's warm, it's humid. It's a weird day. It looks great on this side, but if you look over here, um it's still a little gloomy. But um yeah, it looks like kind of the gloominess is starting to go away a little bit. I don't know anything about clouds or anything, so But it's nice. One of the things, um, Coronado has this well, but if you're staying here, they have like hammocks out here, which are great. So you can pretty much just come out here, lay on a hammock, um, just enjoy. There's a lot of, I like about these big moderate resorts, there's a lot of recreational activities and it's a big resort. So you have like all these pools as well. So if you're staying here, I recommend just having like a day just to enjoy the resort. So. That's always fun. You have so many pools at these resorts too that you can pretty much just go to a pool and at sometimes you'll just have it all to yourself, which is kind of great. So at this point you can either cross over or you can take the under bridge path. So I think we're gonna go under the bridge I've been testing something out. I have an idea. Um, but yeah, one of the things we tried doing at one point was like at the end of our videos, like doing the I'm goo, you're you thing. But like, if we run into anyone in the parks, any goo crew members that are open to doing it, they could, uh, I think Linda did it one time with us, but basically I say, I'm goo. And you say, you're, I'm me, or whatever you want to say, I'm so-and-so and then, you're you, and then do all that. I think that'd be fun. 
So if anyone sees this, feel free to ask us. We'll always be happy to record something like that. There's a very happy person here watching us as we walk. But you can like get bikes here too. Um, a lot of recreational things you can rent, which are great. If you're joining us, we're trying to make our way over to Spyglass Grill. Um, it's somewhere around here. We're going to try and find it. It's one of the quick services here, kind of inside of one of the uh, neighborhoods. I think it's in Trinidad. But um, yeah, if you guys are coming in, if you guys are new, I'm kind of the host here. My name's Goo. And um, yeah, we're just kind of taking you guys around the Skyliner Resorts, even if the Skyliner's down. Yeah, Caribbean Beach is huge. I don't know, it's probably, if it's probably, I think it's the biggest one, biggest like as far as size, not rooms. I think it's somewhere this way. All right, looks like we're back. Um, yeah, sometimes the phone's been giving us issues where we just lose lag for a couple minutes, lose the whole stream. So I think we're back now. But yeah, here's Spyglass Grill. As you can see, we've made it. And it's exciting. It's full of excitement and cheer. And um, yeah, we're going to try and sit down and do a mobile order, see what's going on. And... Hopefully it's good, no one's there. You get a nice, some picnic tables here as well. So yeah, we're gonna sit down here, kind of figure out what we're doing and we'll go from there. Also, if you guys are Club Goo members, make sure you guys do check out, um, keep checking the membership thing because sometimes every so often we're gonna be doing some shorter streams, not like full streams, and they're not gonna be replacing like normal streams or anything. So um, for those who aren't Goo Crew members, Club Goo members, um, the streams won't be taken away. They're just a little bonus thing. And yeah, uh, I did. we did a stream last night of fireworks from the apartment, tried that out. So if you guys are members, make sure you guys do keep an eye on that. Also, we are doing a member, um, member voting thing. We're voting for an emoji, so yeah. All right, we're gonna try and pull up the mobile order here and go from there. See, they have a Cuban sandwich. I think we're gonna try the tacos. Um, it looks pretty decent. Let me try and pull it up really quick and we'll go from there. Get more crazy, you can get more 
<laughs> yeah, if you can. There's one of the areas, it's very close to the Skyliner. So if you're staying here, even here, it's just a bridge across. So, yeah. I know a lot of people will be staying here for the Skyliner. So keep that in mind. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, we're currently waiting. We did a mobile order here at Spyglass Grill. And um, we're going to try it out, see how it is. I haven't been here at all, so it'll be kind of a fun experience for us all. So it should be good. Yeah, I, yeah, I think, so, I'm very sure, I'm not 100% sure, I think all the Trinidad rooms are pirate rooms, that's where we stayed, this is the area where we stayed when we stayed here, um, I thought they were fun, they could probably use a refurbishment, but I thought they were fun little rooms. There's a lot of resorts that if you guys can do preferred, That'd be a huge help for you guys. Um, I know one of my favorites is Saratoga. If you're staying at Saratoga, uh, you can pay, depending on the price, if it is affordable, I would recommend it because sometimes you can get like a one minute, like a five minute walk from Disney Springs, which is great. So um, one of the things with Disney Springs that I don't like is oftentimes you're just leaving and there's chaos going on and you have to worry about where you park. You have to do all this. If you're staying at Saratoga, you just walk. It's like a five minute walk or so and um you're just there which is great so and even a boat goes there if you don't want to walk so that's always nice we're just waiting i did one order really quick and yeah we are currently at 104 likes too so if you guys haven't that like button that'll be a huge help and um yeah, welcome everyone, welcome everyone coming in. Caribbean Beach is big, but it's a very beautiful resort. You have um, the water, you have everything, you have the Skyliners. This is where the main Skyliner hub station is, so if you want to get anywhere, whether that's Pop Century, Art of Animation, or Hollywood Studios, um, Epcot Resort area, any of those, this is where you would come and you only have to take one Skyliner. So, that's nice. Revere is nice because it's right next there and you don't have to um, wait for like the Epcot Skyliner. Normally if you did the Skyliner, the Epcot Skyliner the other way, you'd have to stop at, um, you'd have to go through Riviera and it's kind of half the Skyliner ride, which is nice, so. From here though, after we get our food, we're gonna kind of explore the resort a little bit, see what else is going on. Um, meanwhile, we also, Maybe we'll get another Skyliner, an actual Skyliner ride in tonight. I don't know. But um, for the most part, we're just going to kind of take it easy. Enjoy the um, the weather now since there's no storms. And, um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, pretty nice. Well, I will say the Skyliner, so these rooms right here, it's probably about maybe five minutes from five five to ten minutes from the Skyliner, uh, depending on where you are in this neighborhood. If you have a pirate room, you can always just cross that um, that bridge that we went under earlier, and that'll take you straight there. So there's there's worse places to be put here at Caribbean. I wouldn't say this is probably the best neighborhood, but it's definitely um, not the worst. I don't think.
Should be nice though. Uh, we did submit a mobile order. Um, we'll see how long it takes. It sometimes takes a little bit longer, especially for a smaller restaurant like this, but um, we're just gonna kinda get our mobile order, try out these tacos. Uh, we also got a Easter cupcake, so we're gonna try out the Easter cupcake. Um, and we'll see what else goes on, but yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. The pirate rooms are themed very fun. Uh, I know the pictures, I don't think the pictures really do it justice. It kind of feels fun in there. Um, yeah. I, I wish they would do like a refurbishment, but like, I don't know. Some of the things I feel like need to refer to in the room, but for the most part, it's just a fun room. So let me see if I can pull up the menu here. So they do have an Easter cupcake right now. Um, they have for breakfast, they have scrambled eggs, fresh fruit. They have like a um, breakfast Cuban sandwich too, which is, that sounds very intriguing. Um, but they have a lot of plant-based options as well. They have oatmeal, all these things here. For lunch, they have cheeseburgers, they have a Cuban sandwich, they have a turkey sandwich, chicken strips, and um, pork tacos. So, yeah, and also some salads. They have a shrimp salad, chopped jerk chicken salad, and fresh fruit. So, yeah, they also have Impossible Burgers, um, plant-based options. And for their chips, they have a signature plantain yucca chips. So if you want to try those out, you can. Um, I believe that does as, uh, work as a side. But for the most part, it's there's a couple like standard things. You have the burger, you have the chicken tenders. Um, but you have a lot of really nice, like like the Cuban sandwich, the tacos. Oh, Chrissy, welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Oh, there we go. So Aruba and Jamaica are closest to Skyliner. I will say from staying here, Trinidad isn't the worst. Oh, I should have gotten the Cuban sandwich. Well, welcome back, Vizin. So we're getting some tacos, pork tacos, and um, we just mobile order, we're waiting for it, and yeah, we're just kind of sitting here talking about the resort a little bit oh eric welcome well thank you so much it's been fun we've um kind of done some resort hopping skyliner resort hopping off the of skyliner so it's been fun This should be nice though. We, we really have not tried this restaurant. Um, no one says the Cuban sandwich is good. We'll have to come back one day. I think that would be fun. But yeah, this is good. I'm glad we're having more options along the Skyliner line. So in case we ever want to Skyliner over here again, we can always kind of walk over here. That's fun. Oh, welcome, Logan. So we're here at the... Um, Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Or 108. Um, so our, officially our light goal tonight is going to be 119. It'd be great to get there. And if not, um, but I think at this point we probably will. So only 11 away. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, maybe 150. I keep forgetting. Yeah, the Skyliner's still down, which is crazy. Yeah, I will say, so Caribbean Beach I enjoy, and all of these bigger resorts like um, Port Orleans, Riverside, Caribbean Beach, even Coronado for that matter. Coronado is a little more simpler, but preferred rooms are nice because you can kind of know where you're going. And if you find the lobby, you can find everywhere else. Uh, the thing is with these resorts, sometimes it, it you can get lost in these resorts. And I remember going, the first resort I ever stayed in was Port Orleans Riverside and I hated it just because um, it was so big and I was so used to more condensed resorts. And um, at the time I hated it. At the time I had no idea where I was going. I felt like I'd get lost every time. So I will recommend if you're staying one of these, make sure you're a little familiar. Um, look up like a map of the resort kind of get a little ident um a little kind of know what you're doing and yeah kind of anticipate it being massive and that's probably the suggestion i would give oh yeah dolphin dolphin's pretty nice the thing the problem i have with dolphin is even with dolphin you get like passler discounts i think they have teacher discounts um, they have a lot of um, a lot of discounts there, so if you check those out, make sure you guys do. But for the most part, Dolphin kind of snuck up on me with their, they have like additional fees they charge. So if you're staying there, just keep that in mind. They have a lot of resort fees. And, but yeah, you can, you can stay there relatively cheaper. It's nice. A very deluxe kind of area too. You get to go to kind of in between Epcot and Hollywood Studios, which is great. But we're currently waiting for a mobile order. Here, we're here at Spyglass Grill. They opened yesterday. Um, mobile order is taking a little bit longer, but we'll just kind of hang out here, see what's going on. And eventually we're going to try our tacos. Welcome, Antonio. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Are we really at 115? Oh, wow. So we're currently, I think, um, four away from our goal. Our goal is 119 tonight. And, um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Oh, can you book it through Disney? I never tried that. I'm doing pretty good. It's been a fun little um, resort hopping day. Uh, the Skyliner was kind of down for a while, so... I don't know if we'll get on it today, but yeah. For the most part, um, crowds have been kind of low. They're probably, everyone's in the parks. So for the most part, it hasn't been too busy, but um, we're at the resorts. So the resorts aren't really that busy in the first place, which is nice. Oh yeah, the Skyliners are going. There we go. <laughs> That's kind of fun to see. So I think from here, we're gonna try and potentially go to the lobby here, but I think we're gonna prioritize after we get our 
our dinner here, we're going to prioritize going on the Skyliner. So maybe we'll go, maybe after this, we'll just go over to the Skyliner and go to Pop Century or something. Um, that sounds like a good idea, I think. Yeah, that's exciting. Oh, 118, wow. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Sounds good, Biggle. Hopefully, we'll see you later. Um, yeah, either, yeah, probably coming up soon. So, thank you so much for joining. They're still preparing the order, so it might be a little bit longer. Oh yeah, so crazy lazy. So when we were walking over from um, Riviera, we actually got to uh, 1,800. So um, thank you guys so much again. Um, it, Matt and I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to us. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Yeah, we're just kind of waiting. We have a mobile order here. Yeah, it's, thank you guys. It was it's it's great. We, Matt and I love doing this, and um, it's just so encouraging. We appreciate it. Oh, Jonathan, welcome. Oh, do we get to 120? Really? Here, let me see. Let me get an updated result here. Yeah, it looks like we did. So it looks like we did get to 119, um, which was our goal tonight. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Every like is a huge help. Every like kind of tells uh, YouTube that you guys are really appreciating it, uh, appreciating the stream, enjoying it. So yeah, thank you guys so much. It really helps us find some new Goo Crew members in here. And um, yeah, our goal tonight was 119 and we did make it. So thank you guys so much. You guys have been so great tonight. We really appreciate it. And yeah, we're, we're still waiting for our tacos. There's a line on there. There's no line on my screen. That's just because of this, the camera. Um, but they're still flipping that burger. And yeah, it's been taking a little bit. <laughs> we might make it to 150. We'll see. But the Skyliners are going again, that's a good sign. I think from here, we're gonna try and get our tacos whenever we get them. And then we're gonna try and go to um, maybe Pop Century, kind of look around there a little bit. And yeah, should be good. Yeah, hopefully the tacos are good. Hopefully they're worth the wait. We've been waiting a while for them though. Let me. We've been waiting about um, 20 minutes or so. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the chat while we're sitting here waiting for our tacos to get done. Um, I imagine they're, they just opened yesterday. They're probably still figuring out some of the mobile order things going on. So um, in a couple minutes, I might go check on it. But um, yeah. Oh, Jeff, welcome back. 
Yeah, so we um, we finally made it over here as well. The Skyliner broke down, so, or it didn't break down, it just went down for storms. So um, now it's going now, but we had to find a way to get here when we, we braved the storms. It was fun. Oh, Jules, welcome. Welcome to you. Hopefully you're having a great day. Welcome to the stream. We did reach um, our goal of 1,800 tonight, so which is great. So another huge thank you. You guys have been so great. We really appreciate it, and yeah, we're excited. And if you guys are coming in wondering what's going on, we're waiting. Spyglass Grill is the quick service here that opened um, yesterday, and we ordered mobile ordered some tacos. It's been a while, but um, yeah, we're going to probably go check on it in a minute if it doesn't get done. Oh, it's ready. Okay. Here, I'm going to leave you guys right here since we're right by it. And I don't want to keep my hands full. So you'll see me in the distance. I still have my microphone on. Thank you so much. All right, I'm just gonna get a drink really quick and we'll go from there. Some napkins. All right, so we got our tacos. I'm coming almost to the table. Thank you guys for your patience. Um, I imagine they're just kind of figuring out some mobile order things. So it was a little bit longer of a wait, but we, we did make it. So there you go. Let me pull up the chat really quick, see if I missed anything. We got one of these Easter cupcakes and you know me with cupcakes. Cupcakes have not been consistent for me. Um, I also did get my food to go which um, was nicer because um, I was getting a table out here. So, yeah, we'll kind of show you guys what we have here. Hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully it's good. They look pretty decent. I just got them um, how they are here. Um, these ones actually came with some sort of here. I, when it comes to tacos sometimes, I just like them just just as tacos. Uh, these ones come with, let me see. So they have like a slaw on them. I'm not a huge fan of slaw. If you know me in my other videos, I'm not a huge fan of them, but this also does have a cilantro lime uh, crema on it as well. These are some like plantain chips, um, which these look pretty good. These are yuca and plantain chips. Um, which is a fun little side here, kind of some unique things going on here. Meanwhile, we have a cupcake. My bag is blowing away. But we have a cupcake, and it looks like an Easter bunny, kind of jumping into the ground, I guess. So there you go. And, yeah, this is a coconut cupcake. So um, it, it's, I like how they have different cupcakes for these, fest, um, these like, festivity-themed uh, food items here. I like that you have different ones because every single resort I've seen has a different like themed cupcake. So we'll try these out. I'm very hopeful for the tacos and yeah, it, slaw. I don't like slaw. 
I don't understand slaw. And I don't understand how slaw works on tacos either. So I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna, um, I have some wipes here sponsored by Bizen. And I also have some, um, yeah. So that way I won't get too sticky here. But these are pork tacos. So we're gonna try these out. Hopefully they're good. Hopefully the chips are interesting. The chips look good and we'll go from there. But yeah, I believe this was, let me check a price on this. So the tacos were $9.99, which I don't think is a bad deal. These are pretty like, I mean, these look like pretty decent tacos for $9.99. So we're gonna give these a try. Hopefully they're good. Um, if you want to side these chips alone, it's five dollars. So I don't think the price value isn't too bad here. So we'll try this out. Hopefully it's good. Pick up a taco. These are stuffed tacos. There, there's a lot inside of these. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this over the plate so I don't get all over me. Mm. Well, whatever it is, I'm not a huge fan of, I can bear slaw, but just as a preference, I'm not a huge fan of it. So any kind of slaw. I guess it wouldn't be that bad. Um, there was no salsa or anything. I think, yeah. Tacos are fine. Maybe I'm missing the saw here, but um, the sauce, the um, crema cilantro lime, it's just kind of interesting. Maybe it's missing the slaw here. I'm going to try a little more. It's very messy. Pretty accurate guesses here. Here, I'm gonna take a couple more bites. Maybe I was just um, very foolish to not get the slaw, but um, at least for me, these aren't very impressive. They have flavor, that's good. But for the most part, they're just tacos. So I'm gonna give it a 3.49, very close to a 3.5. Um, maybe even a 3.45, somewhere around that range. Jacqueline, welcome. How are you doing? We're trying some tacos here. I don't think these are my favorite tacos. I don't think, the thing is, they have flavor. They're not bland or anything. Um, I just think it's not impressive. So, yeah, I mean, I'm very tempted to give it a 3.4. That's kind of where I'm sitting with it. But that being said, though, it's not like unedible. So, yeah, maybe 3.45. That's probably the best score I could give these. I think the crema or the, um, yeah, that's just a little too much on it. There's 
little bit of inside. And there are ants overtaking my dish here. But yeah, there you go. Um, the more I eat of them, they're just kind of just tacos. So I think I'm going to go down to three, four. Um, but yeah, not the worst thing you could ever eat. The Cuban sandwich looked much better. So we're going to have to come back and try that one of these days. Kind of salty. Yeah, the ants are um, trying to be goo crew members. But we have these chips. So I think these ones are the yucca chips. They also have plantain chips in here as well. The yucca chips are pretty much like potato chips, only they have a um, certain like chewiness. They're not like chewy, like don't think like chewy, like chewing like hard. It's just a very toughness to it. Um, for the most part, pretty decent. Um, I like the plantain here too. Probably the best part of this dish. Um, I don't know if I could rate these, um, maybe 3.5 enjoyable chips. But um, yeah, pretty nice to have a nice little chip here. Mayesha, welcome. How are you doing? Yeah. For the most part, pretty, um, kind of like your standard chips, but you have a nice twist to it with the plantains. Um, and for chips, probably 3.5. I don't want to sit here crunching for you guys for the next three hours. Um, they give a lot of chips here, so um, I'll finish these up really quick, then we'll get into the cupcake, and hopefully that's good. So I'll eat a couple more, and we'll go from there. Yeah, the stream didn't like the cupcake either. Um, if you know me, I don't know if I say this enough, but Disney has a lot of cupcakes. And for the most part, some of them are really good. Some of them are really bad. Um, but whenever you have these seasonal cupcakes going on, they're never the greatest. Um, sometimes they're good. Sometimes you have a couple of highlights here and there. 
But for the most part, these are never always the greatest things you'll ever have. Um, but we're gonna try it out. Hopefully we survive. Hopefully we make it through this one. But yeah, another cupcake to try out and we'll go from there. So yeah, hopefully I survive this one. So here we go. We're gonna cut into this, get like a, kind of a cross section in for you guys. And is this like a, no, that's just cream. Wow, that's gonna be sweet. Um, wow. There's like a, I didn't read the description very good. I think this is like a pineapple. Is that pineapple? Looks like a jelly type thing. I just have bad lucks with the seasonal cupcakes. Okay, so it has a cream cheese buttercream on top. Yeah, so it's filled with pineapple. That's, that's weird. That's kind of nice. I don't know. I'm hopeful. It looks great, yeah, the presentation's nice. So you have coconut on top, and then you have pineapple in the middle. The thing I have with it is, there was just a big glob of this with the um, coconut on it. Maybe I should have cut it the wrong way, but I hope this isn't too much. I'm gonna try and get this, it's falling apart in my hands. And we're gonna try this out. Okay, let's, let's try this. Wow. That's honestly not bad. Um, it's like a carrot cake. I think it might even be a carrot cake cupcake. The pineapple's nice, the coconut's great on top. Um, I thought it'd be too much with like a huge cream. Maybe I just didn't get a lot of cream in my bite, but I really didn't find it being too much. This one has a lot of pineapple, I'll try this one. So it's inconsistent. One bite you'll get will have a lot of the um, cream on it. One bite you'll get won't have much of the coconut. Um, that's my main issue with this. Nonetheless, though, I enjoyed it. I thought it was one of the more enjoyable cupcakes I've ever had. And um, yeah, as far as the rating, um, I'll give it a 3.69. Um, very close to 3.7. Um, yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't look. I don't know, I like to see your, um, I like to see all the predictions because I feel like so many of you guys know me so well, um, which is fun. Oh, did she really? Oh, she got 3.7. Yeah, only 0.1 away, so that was a close one. Yeah, time for some wipes. My hands are sticky after everything. But for the most part, that was a very survivable cupcake. I wasn't regretting buying it at the end. So yeah, if you like like carrot, co carrot cake type thing, if you like coconut and pineapple, um, I think you will enjoy this one. Um, yeah, probably one of the better cupcakes I've had around here. Not, not too much, I don't think, not too, uh, not too like sweet or anything. So yeah, I'm glad we got to try this one out. I'm glad we showed it and I'm glad we had one, at least one good Easter cupcake for us. Um, yeah, I think I wanna look it up really quick. Yeah, it was a carrot cake cupcake. That's, I was right. No, it wasn't sour. It wasn't like the, um, the Encanto cupcake. Um, I, it wasn't making me wanna 
uh, just run around in pain after it. So, yeah. The thing is, that happens a lot. Um, whenever Disney needs a new item, they just pull out a cupcake, and a lot of times they're just bland or they're just they just don't work. So, I don't know. It was yeah, it was moist. It wasn't too dry or anything. Um, yeah, I mean, that was a good one, I think. I mean, I don't know if they were selling this at the um, other quick service as well, but they do have a year spyglass grill. Probably not for long, um, probably ending Sunday. But there we go. I'm going to go get a refill of my drink really quick, and uh, we're going to head on. Flip you guys. Well, I want to see, I'm going to bring this over for a second. But um, meanwhile, if you guys are watching, I have a little surprise I'm bringing. But um, a lot of these restaurants are doing this. We have a little spyglass grill thing, frame thing I'm in. There we go. Feel free to take a screenshot of this. Um, but yeah, Spyglass Grill has reopened. We just tried it out and yeah, this was fun. I'm gonna go take this back. So they don't think I tried to steal it and I'm gonna go throw them out trash. But yeah, there we go. Um, that was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little um, exciting spyglass grill reopening, even though it's a day late. But uh, from there, I think we're gonna head to the Skyliner station, kind of take our time walking over there, showing how to get there, and um, maybe just ride it one time. Here, I'm gonna mount my the chat again. Oh, S. Murphy, welcome. Welcome to Caribbean Beach Resort. How are you doing? I'll make an H. Welcome. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm gonna stop up here for one second because I just spilled something on me and I don't like being sticky. So I'll let you guys look at the Skyliner station. There it is. And 
We'll walk there and try and get there in just a second. I hope I didn't get to stay in this new shirt. Um, but anyways, enjoy the Skyliner station for a second while I clean my hand and we'll go, go from there. All right, looks like we're good. Oh yeah. Luckily, I don't think my shirt was damaged. But yeah, happy Easter too, everyone. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be doing much more this uh, weekend. I'm going to try and do a stream tomorrow. If not, we'll have some videos. Um, I don't know for sure if we'll have an Easter stream. I'll keep you guys updated. Make sure you guys check the community tab on YouTube uh, for more information. But, um, yeah. Sure, and welcome. How are you doing? So these are the pirate rooms. If you're staying here, all you have to do to get to the Skyliner is go over here. Um, you're gonna go on this bridge and it's gonna be right there. <coughs> Once you know where you're going, it can be easy to get to the Skyliner. Our official goals um, was 119 and we didn't make it as far as likes, but um, Mama Goo and Bizen are hopeful we'll get to 150. Um, so if you guys haven't the like button, that'd be a huge help. And yeah, it'd be great to make it there tonight. I just realized something. So apparently, if you guys don't know, Traveler's Cafe is a restaurant it's a Starbucks at Epcot, and it's gonna be replaced by Connections Cafe. Um, and apparently Traveler's Cafe is closing on the 18th. And I predicted, this is, I don't know, don't, don't take this as truth. I don't know for sure yet, this is just pure speculation. Closing the Starbucks, I think they're gonna open Connections Cafe and Eatery. Um, if they do, we're gonna be there. I don't know what's gonna happen. But that's the same day character interactions come back. That's the same day Earth Day happens. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. That's Monday. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Oh, Philip, welcome. Welcome to Caribbean Beach. Welcome to the Skyliner. We're finally getting on it. And yeah, Skyliner went down earlier because of thunderstorms. <coughs> I think we're gonna take it over to Pop Century and kind of walk around a little bit. Let me see. Um, but this week is going to be very, very busy. I'm sure Connections Cafe is going to be opening Monday. I'm very tempted to change my park pass right now because people are going to forget about it. But I want to go <coughs> and try, like, everything on the menu. We'll be live if it happens. 
So um, characters are coming back, Earth Day, most likely Connections Cafe, if not later that week. But Disney always likes to stack all the big things on the same day. So I really wouldn't be surprised. So we'll see. Oh, Deeth, you're welcome. How are you doing? I made the prediction earlier. I said Connections Cafe is probably gonna open on the same day. And this is pure speculation, so it probably won't happen. Okay, we're going to be heading towards Pop Century. Um, looks like there's hope that we might have a Skylander to ourselves, which is great. Um, but yeah, if you guys are joining, make sure you guys do hit the like button. That'll be a huge help. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe as well. Every subscription is a huge help as well as we um, near to our 2,000 subscribers. Mom, and um, right here. Yeah, thank you everyone for joining. Sorry. ahead of me goes. Hi, just one. Great, thank you. Oh, this is good. It's been too long since we had a Skyliner to ourselves. We have one of the wrapped Skyliners. This may not be a good question. Maybe this question isn't a good one, but would you guys rather see a video on all the Earth, thing, Earth Day things at um, Disney's Animal Kingdom and show all the character interactions that day over there? Or would you rather us go live on Monday? I'm just going to talk over the voice. Go live on Monday for Connections Cafe if they do open. Now get ready to travel back in time and enter the animated worlds of Disney. We are on our way to Disney's Pop Century Resort and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. But would you guys rather see a video of character interactions and Earth Day at Animal Kingdom or have a live stream right when they open at Connections? Because Connections, I think, is very significant. Um, but, I mean, we don't have to be the first one there. We can, we can always go later that day and hop. That's true, because you're lazy. Oh, cafe. Just to head into the right. Okay, so the connection Disney seems to be the general thing a here. A larger than life resort that celebrates the creative magic that goes into crafting Disney animated films, from sketches to reality. On your left is Disney's Pop Century Resort, a memorable resort that celebrates the way we lived, played, and communicated with each other throughout the 20th century. Clara, welcome. So, um, you mean connections on Tuesday? 
we're gonna have to do multiple visits because we want to try the whole menu at some point. We could potentially like bring our computers and like film it and edit it and put it up really quick. Uh, I'll talk it over with Matt if we want to do a live or video. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. That's true. In just a few moments, we will be arriving at the only floating Skyliner station at Walt Disney World Resort. Passengers can disembark here. Well, thank here you so much for joining, for Clara. We appreciate having you. Huh. We appreciate having you, and um, yeah, thank you so much. We love doing this, so we're glad to have you. But as far as Tuesday, we're going to go live for sure on Tuesday. And, um, yeah, I don't know if we'll get connections. We're going to try. We might do connections as a video. It's true. Probably video would be better. Maybe we'll do both. That might be good. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you. So yeah, we did get um, past alert preview for Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, it wasn't a huge... So we're, we're going to be going, not the, not the first one. Um, I think we're at the 10th. I was sleeping late um, that morning. And Ma if it wasn't for Mama Goo, we wouldn't have it. But Mama Goo got it. And the one thing that happened was uh, we are going to the D23 preview as well. So... Um, yeah, we'll have that as well. D23 previews experience. It's like $40 and you get like a review or um, first of all, you get entry, you get parking, you get a $20 um, gift card for the festival. You get viewing for Harmonious. You get to ride the ride and you get a gift. Um, so that's going to be a whole experience. I'm really excited for that one. Um, but as far as sorry, the little thing came up, but yeah, we'll be at um, D23. We'll be at Pass Holder, maybe cast member. We'll see what's going on. But yeah, Mama Goo is to be thanked. She's the one who got us our um, bachelor previews. It looks like we are currently 12 away um, from 150. I didn't think we'd make it today, but we're getting very close. And I think for sure, if we don't make it on the stream tonight, maybe we'll make it after the stream because I know a lot of a lot of Goo Crew people, Goo, Goo Crew members, like to watch afterwards. I'm worried about the preview. I don't know, so supposedly, I don't know, um, Guardians of the Galaxy uses a lot of music, like uh, retro music. And I'm afraid that um, one of it might be a strike. I don't know, you never know. Because I really want to show the full ride to you guys, but we're gonna have to figure out some sort of solution if we can't um, show the whole ride. But yeah, this is the Pop Century Resort here. Um, one of the value resorts here at Disney World. Um, you do have the Skyliner here. Though the Skyliner does get busy and the wait times do get long, um, it's a nice thing to have here. So, yeah. A lot of the valley resorts have like this motel style, so like buildings um, that are out, outside um, going in. So, yeah. Very similar layout to All Star, which we just stayed at a couple weeks ago. And um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, all the valley resorts are pretty much laid out. Especially Pop Century, Art of Animation, they have like the same layout of food court um, and everything there. So.
I'm gonna do a quick refresh on the chat really quick so we get the chat back. And then we're gonna go in Pop Century, uh, see a couple things, and uh, we might start to conclude it, but it's been a fun night, so we'll be back. It'll go black for just a couple seconds, but we'll be back momentarily. Thank you, guys. Oh, that's great, Crazy Lizzie. That's fun. I know everyone always comes and says like um, eight weeks and all these things, uh, but that goes quick. Um, when I used to live in Ohio, those weeks will come quick. So that's exciting. Yeah, well, it looks like we're only eight likes away from our goal of 150, uh, which is great. So thank you guys so much, really means a lot. And um, I don't know how we made it, but we're making it, so. Okay, let's see what we have. You have a Liberty Square Magic Band here. This isn't Vault Collection, it's just Liberty Square. Um, that's interesting. Big Mop, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream, hopefully you're doing well. We're kind of walking around, doing some resort um, hopping, so that's fun. Oh, this is a new plate. They, they're getting like Vault Collection things here. You have a plate here, that's kind of fun. $29.99. And you have like the full like American Parade content or um, clothes here, which is kind of fun. And yeah, I mean, this is one thing. The Volt Collection, when they all came out, was so exclusive to Magic Kingdom and uh, Disney Springs. But now you're finding like the new, the new um, merchandise here just everywhere, which is great. So. Yeah, they also have a lot of Pomp Century merchandise. I know we looked at this last time we were here. Raymond, welcome. Welcome to the stream, how are you doing? Welcome to um, Pomp Century Resort. Oh, I like that. You have an ornament that looks like um, Mickey when he's holding the phone. That's fun, you have a sweatshirt. But yeah, welcome, hopefully you're doing well. We're just looking around, seeing if we run into some new merchandise here. And um, yeah, it's been a pretty fun resort hopping, Skyliner resort hopping. You have, for, for Pomp, Pomp Century is honestly, this store here gets more things than a lot of other stores on Disney property. So if you're here and you're ever looking for um, merchandise, this is one of the stores I'd almost recommend. Oh, 62 days, oh wow. That's great. Polynesian's great. I love the Polynesian. Hopefully construction won't be going too much then. Roxanne, welcome. How are you doing? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll check on that. I think it would be by the Pomp Century things, but I just want to run over here just to be sure. But yeah, we're gonna go check. As far as years, like in general, I'm not seeing. You do have the pretzel ones here as well. Those actually smell like a pretzel. Um, here, let me go check by the Pop Century merchandise. I didn't see them over there, but um, we'll keep. We'll take a quick look. <clears throat> Oh, that'd be great. If you ever see us, please feel free to say hi. Um, we love to see you guys. So I don't see them here. That's that's cool though. I think that'd be fun with the records. Um, but as of now, they currently do not have stock of them. The thing is with Pop Century and all these uh, stores, they get things in every single day. So um, I would keep checking, but as of now, they do not have it. So yeah.
You have a good selection of magic bands, though. Yeah. You get a lot of limited edition magic bands, too. So if you're looking for any of that, uh, you can find a good amount of these here. But for the most part, you get a lot of, um, oh, for sure, we can go in the arcade. I, I did hear they're doing the basket thing where if you buy merchandise, you can pay $7 and they'll make an Easter basket out of it, uh, which is fun. But yeah, good selection here. Oh, they even have the balloon spirit jersey as well. Yeah, they're getting all the new things, which is nice to see. I feel like um, a lot of times you think that you're staying at the value resorts and you really think you're just gonna miss out on everything. But honestly, they have a lot of things here. But we are only two likes away from our goal of 150. So um, thank you guys so much and yeah. Oh yeah, so Pop Century had a couple over there and whenever they have limited edition ones too, they have a good amount. So yeah, um, if anything, if the stock isn't as good as it is now, later, uh, you can always walk over to Art of Animation and uh, it's probably about five minute walk. You just walk across the bridge. And um, yeah, they, they probably will have some too if they don't have any here. It's a nice arcade. I like um, the pinball machines. You get a lot of these at these arcades. Um, this is one of the bigger ones for sure. I know everyone always told me to check out the Pop Century arcade um, in my arcade video. And I kind of thought, well, it's gonna be nothing compared to the uh, contemporary, but this is pretty This is pretty big. You have like some seating here as well. More retro seating, that's kind of fun. But yeah, this one keeps going. You have lots of pretty much everything. So that's always great. You have photo booths, you have, um, yeah. It looks like we did get to 150 though, so. That's great. Oh, welcome, Grant. How are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Welcome to the stream. We did reach 150 likes, uh, so I just want to give you guys a huge thank you. I really appreciate it, and yeah, it really means a lot. So thank you guys so much here. It's kind of chaotic in here. I feel like I can't think properly. So we're gonna head out of here. We're probably gonna start to wrap things up, but it's been a fun stream. We've done a lot, and um, yeah. We might not make it to 160 tonight. We're probably gonna start wrapping things up at this point, but it's been a fun stream. I've, 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 it's been a lot of fun tonight. So yeah, here, let me go over here. But yeah, huge thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, 150 is great. That's huge. Uh, we really appreciate it. and. Yeah, it's been great to kind of take you guys along the monorail resorts. Um, honestly, the mono or not the monorail, the Skyliner, sorry, the Skyliner resorts. Um, um, but yeah, it's been fun. We went to the Skyliner a little bit. We uh, kind of showed some alternate routes to get to Skyliner resorts when the Skyliner goes down for weather. And um, yeah, I think it's been a fun stream. But if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys do hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and it'll be a huge help. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And um, yeah, if you guys are new, welcome. And yeah, I think it's been great. So yeah, I don't know about any streams this weekend. I'll keep you guys updated. But make sure you guys keep checking the community page on YouTube on our channel. That'll give you guys the most up-to-date things. I'll try and post on Instagram as well, um, Facebook. And yeah, but I think it's been fun. Uh, make sure you guys do watch out. And yeah, as usual, I'm Goo, you're you. And I wish a Goo to each and every one of you. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you guys later. And um, yeah.